Welcome to the Celebrities with Jordan collab series. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at collabs you probably had no idea existed. These are some of the most rarest pairs and were only given to the friends and families of the collaborators. These pairs are the creme de la creme of the creme de la creme of the sneaker collecting industry. Pairs that money alone cannot buy and they need for the right network. Let's dive right into it. Starting with one of the most low-key collabs, Nick Cannon. Jordan Brand teamed up with Nick Cannon to pay homage to Wild and Out, which first aired in 2005. We've seen two pairs. The first one was the Jordan 7. This pair was first seen in 2017 and pays homage to the Bordeaux colorways. The shoe uses colors from the show, has an icy translucent sole, and a subtle Wild and Out branding hit. Then there's the Jordan 4s. These were rumored to be made in 2016, 2017 times, but they really saw the light of day in 2023. They have a luxurious textured leather exterior akin to Croc skin, silver hits on the midsole, heel, and lace eyelids, and a translucent sole. These are the two pairs we're only aware of, and there might be more. The Jordan 4s are rumored to be limited to only three pairs. Elite superstar actor Mark Wahlberg is an unexpected family member of the Jordan Brand family. In 2017, for the launch of the Transformers film, Nike teamed up with Wahlberg to create the Transformers 5. And in typical Hollywood fashion, Mark wanted a Jordan 4 that would transform into a Jordan 5. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Imagine if they actually managed to pull that one off. This pair again was limited to friends and family. And there was even a sample pair of what the shoe could have looked like instead. And if I'm honest, I prefer this sample pair. Then there's the Wahlberger Fours, which were created to celebrate the success of Mark's Diner. This is an all green suede Jordan 4 with a detachable tongue of the Wahlberger logo. Since Michael Jordan hates the color green, he had to personally sign off on this shoe being made. There was only 46 pairs made. 23 were given to MJ and 23 pairs were given to Mark Wahlberg. That's it. These pairs sell for over $20,000 on the secondary market. Mark Wahlberg also has one of one pairs. There's the Laser 3s in a red upper covered in the elephant print with the Jumpman removed from the tongue and the one of one Wahlberger 1 mids in Celtic vibes. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Jordans went hand in hand in the rise of hip-hop culture in the 90s. While there was never an official collab, Fives were a favorite of the Fresh Prince and Five Fives winged to this perfectly. The first one is the unofficial Bel-Air Fives we saw launch in 2013. There was also a friends and family pair. Both pairs had a 90s retro neon color palette. Then in 2018, we had the Great Fives release with a twist. They had no laces like the style of Fresh Prince they said West Philadelphia on the tongue and on the insoles there was hits from the Fresh Prince. Then in 2018, Will Smith was gifted an all gold Jordan 5 and it's rumored that these pairs were limited to only 23 pairs. And the fifth five, in 2020, we received the alternative Bel -Airs. Fat Joe, one of the OG instigators of sneaker collecting, also has his own collabs under his rap group banner, Terror Squad. Let's run through some of his non collaborations. All blue suede Jordan 4s. This pair is reminiscent of the Eminem Encore 4s with the Terror Squad branding. There is a Terror Squad shattered backboard 1 and even a Grape 5, almost identical to the pair loved by the Fresh Prince but with the Terror Squad branding. Then there's a collection of eight. There's the Terror Squad pairs, which are in Midnight Navy and Orange Blaze. There's the Fred Jones player exclusives in a black and white pair. There's the Trophy Terror Squad Jordan 8. With Fat Joe's face as a lace lock and then also the Confetti Jordan 8. Just as a reminder, these pairs were never released to the public. These pairs are friends and family pairs. These are only some of the pairs that we are aware of that have seen their way into the public eye. Fat Joe is infamous for having so many friends and family pairs, but he's also famous for wearing sample pairs that no one had ever seen before. There was the Space Hippie 3s, and the white and red fours. Fat Joe has gone on to say that if it wasn't for his beef with 50 Cent, which Michael Jordan wanted no association with, 
he probably would have been the first artist that ever had a Jordan collab. I was supposed to be the first artist ever to collaborate with Jordan. And that's when, this is yeah. a true story. And that's, like, I met with him like six times. Like, we were, we were, we were coming up with the design and everything. But that's when the me and 50 Cent beef was really, really on. And um, we had went at it in the, in the award show. And from Michael Jordan's mouth himself, he was like, yo, I wanted to do it, but you know, I'm not into all that rap beef and all these problems and this and that, and that was it. Interscope Records, which was founded by Jimmy Levine, which has artists like Dr. Dre, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar, has also seen love from the Jordan brand. We have seen the Interscope Black Cement Threes and the White Cement Fours. Fundamentally, these pairs look the same as the OG pairs, but with the subtle difference of the label's logo on the side, and the name on the laces. While they look the same as the OG pairs, they vary drastically in the resale value. Little bonus collab, Nipsey Hussle. Before Nipsey Hussle signed with Puma, he flirted signing with Nike, and there was even a Victory Lab Jordan 3, which looks similar to the Interscope Black Cement Freeze, but with Victory Lab on the side and on the sole. The number 23 was celebrated by Jordan Brand for another athlete as well, Serena Williams. In honor of her 23rd Grand Slam title in 2017, Jordan Brand gave her her own Jordan 1, the Hyper Pink. These pairs did see a mass release, but her own personal pairs say 23 on the side. Drawing from her creativity, Jordan Brand worked with her to create the Nike Court Flair Jordan 1s, which came out in a pink and red colorway. That's it for this episode. How many of those collabs did you know about? How many surprised you? Which one was your favorite? Leave a comment down below and let me know. While some of these releases date back, they only come to light after a while, like the Canon 4s. Maybe these celebrities have other pairs that we still haven't seen. And I just want to remind you one more time, these pairs were never really released to the public. These were friends and family pairs. These are pairs that sneaker collectors like myself only dream about having. And personally, I would like to see more collabs with actors. Guys, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Make sure you check out the next episode where we'll check out more collabs with more celebrities. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, peace guys, bye.